Hey, Nation Nation back with Josh Weiss down in Southern California. Happy New Year, Josh. Happy New Year, Harry. Good to see you. Been a couple months. It's like we're yeah, going well, to I feel... each other even on Zoom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been a few, it's been a couple months since we've chatted, but I, I still see your uh you're very active on the LinkedIn feeds almost daily. Yeah, and you're consistent. Definitely. So uh we've had that talk and folks just uh be be like Josh um and, and be consistent and get good content up there. Uh, with the new year. Let's kind of do penetration testing or pen testing 101. Give, yeah. give, help me understand it a little bit better myself. Yeah, well, I, I'm excited because there's a new offering that we've brought into the fold at, uh, at my MSP LA Creative. Um, and essentially what we're looking at in terms of like the benefit to our clients is the clients want to know, A, they want to know that we have someone other than ourselves verifying our work on security because it's all so complicated, right? And more and more, more and more, our clients' clients want to know is someone verifying their security. Um, And then the other thing is that we are able to use this as we meet new clients as a way of showing that maybe their current MSP is not doing such a great job protecting them, right? So I'm excited about us getting our own ducks in a row a lot better. And I'm really excited about being able to show new prospects how they're scoring on security. And I think the big sort of, uh, what do we say? Like like the light bulb moment is that we can now do this without charging the client 10 or $15,000, right? We have access to a tool and to a firm. Uh, We're partnered with a firm called Galactic Advisors for anyone who's curious. Um, They're able to help us with a really, really easy pen test tool and a process for going through that with our clients and prospects that spits out not like a, you know, 10,000 page report about every security hole and in every device and every computer on the network that we then have to hire a consultant to go through. Um, It's really, here's a couple things that the client actually cares about that we can highlight with some stories to them to show you know, hey, did your current MSP let you know that there was a tool running on your network that maybe shouldn't have been there yesterday? Um, and, you know, so, you know, sort of shows them how how the proactive relationship with their current provider is going. And it just shows them that like, hey, here's all the passwords that we stole from Chrome on your CEO's computer. Um, you know, and just a couple of really, really basic things. It's like a 30 minute presentation. It's not a Bible. Uh, so and, yeah, go ahead. a question for you because uh, I and, and again I, I have a little bit of knowledge about this um, this approach, but uh, not a lot. But um, at a show, oh man, what was that thing called? It was a a B two B show in tech, so the the attendees would have been business owners and uh, in house IT. Yeah, and there there was a guy interviewed about penetration testing. It was a couple yeah. years ago. And the conversation came up, if you're using this as a marketing approach, yeah. um, does it, is it icky? Like, does the client you're calling upon saying, hey, we found these five things here to help, uh, does it feel like you're doing a shakedown, like, you know, a, a mobster uh, shaking down the, the storefront? No, and, and, and I'm just saying, I've had that conversation. <laughs> I think if we were to come to them, I think what feels like a shakedown is an unrequested dark scan, uh, dark web scan, right? Okay. I email you and say, hey, Harry, look, I found every password you've ever used at SMB Nation, and I am sending you this list so that you will take a meeting with me. That's a shakedown, right? Yeah, You did not give me permission to do this thing, and I have sensitive data of yours, and I'm trying to use it. It's like my friend who... 15 years ago, wanted to drive around neighborhoods and look for unsecured Wi-Fi, connect to it, and then go knock on the person's door to, you know, to show what they'd stolen. No, this is more of a, okay, Mr. Business Owner, you're wondering about your current state. Um, I have a way, if you sign an NDA and you request that I help you by providing this service, I will explain to you the risks that we found right? And we are performing this in the same way that a ransomware operator might, like going and, you know, we're going to run Mimikatz and see what we can find out of passwords stored in memory, right? We're going to look at your password policies. We're going to look at the basic stuff, which is like, 
kind of like the how-to of how to do a ransomware attack. We're gonna look through these basic things and see how well you're faring. Um, the thing that blew my mind is that I ran this on my network and I've got a lot of tools I pay a lot of money for and none of them stopped this. And so it really goes to show, you know, I work with some of the biggest vendors in the industry and you they're, do. they're not preventing this type of surveillance being run on, on and I won't mention their names, but it's pretty gnarly. So like I was able to see that how much of my operations need to be cleaned up and how much of what we're sold as MSPs is marketing hype. And that's pretty scary. And yeah. so th this is an opportunity to get that third party verification and to really, you know, from the MSP side, just to get some, some good handholding on building a, a more uh, stringent security operation internally. Yeah. And I think it's really a nice sales tactic, right? Because we're really saying, we're going to partner on this. You're going to sign an NDA. And because I don't have to spend the time trying to social engineer your employees to click on a link, like you're going to tell them to click on the link. We can do this for a lot less money. We don't have to like make a huge plan. You're going to, you got three people to run the link. We get the data, we present it back to you. And now you know how it's going. And, and that's why I don't think it's the same as your example, because, you know, it's, it's something they want. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like I say, it, it, it just came up in the conversation and um, I know I don't respond well. I'm, I'm a business owner operator and, you know, occasionally there's these tr trade associations that will come and they, they want to shake you down for a membership. So you have a higher customer service rating, you know, and it's, it's kind of like, no, I'm not paying the hundred dollars. <laughs> I mean, Dun and Broad, I mean, Dun and Broad Street loves that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, my friend. Well, hey, keep it safe. Welcome to 2021. Good times ahead. We'll talk to you next month. Thanks, Josh. Yeah,